Om Namah Shivaya children. Good morning. Last week we have studied about luminous, non-luminous objects, opaque, transparent and translucent objects. Children, did you read the textbook? Okay. I ho hope everybody are reading the textbook and completing the notes also. Okay. So, let us revise what we have learned in the last week. What are luminous objects? Objects which gives out or emit light of their own are called luminous objects. Objects which gives out or emit light of their own are called luminous objects. Example, sun, torch, candle, bulb, everything is luminous objects. And what are non-luminous objects? The object which does not emit light of their own are called non-luminous object. Example, moon. Okay? Moon and many other table, chair and all you can write. Next is transparent object. Transparent means the object which allow light to pass through it are called transparent object. Okay? Example, glass. Opaque object which does not allow light to pass through it are called opaque object. Example, wall table, tree, etc. Translucent object which allow light partially through it, which allow light to pass through partially through it are called translucent object. Example, frosted glass, butter paper and we have done the activity also. Now we have we have to move to a, our new topic that is what exactly are shadows? What is shadows? Okay. So we studied about opaque, transparent and translucent objects. What kind is a human body? It is an opaque object. What happens when light is obstructed by a op human body? We see human body is obstructing light here. When light passes uh, through the human body, it obstructs there. There is a light in front of the human body. What do you see behind it? Yes, a shadow. So, when an object obstructed the light, it forms a shadow. So what are the things we required for a shadow for that? We'll just first do an activity. Activity 2. So in that, one by one hold each of the opaque object in the sunlight. Sun slightly above the ground. What do you see on the ground? When you hold in front of the sunlight objects, you can see a shadow. You know that the dark patch formed by each on the ground is due to its shadow. Sometimes you can identify the object by looking at its shadow. Spread a sheet of paper on the ground. Hold a familiar opaque object at some height so that its shadow is formed on the sheet of paper on the ground. Ask one of your friend to draw the outline of the shadow. After seeing the shadow, ask one of your friend to draw the outline of the shadow. That is a shadow under the outline where come here. Shadow. While you are holding the object, draw outlines of the shadow of other objects in a similar way. Now ask some other friends to identify the objects from these outlines of shadows. How many objects are they able to identify correctly? Do you observe your shadow in a dark room or at night when there is no light? Do you observe a shadow when there is just a source of light and nothing else in a room? 
from this what do you understand from this we can understand from this that a source of light and an opaque object is needed to see a shadow if suppose there is a source of light but there is no light dark room but there is a object but can you see a sh shadow that time no source of light is important to form a shadow and an opaque object also needed suppose a source of light passes through a transparent object can you see a shadow no appo source of light important aanu endalo athyavashyam kudandu opaque object two things are compulsory we need source of light and an opaque object now let us see an activity 3 this is an activity that can be done in the dark uh, in the evening go out in an open ground with few friends take a torch and a large sheet of cardboard with you that means adiyam porthekku pova friends inde kuda or torch edukanam pinna or sheet cardboard sheet edukka hold the torch close to the ground torch edukka ennittu ground like edukka and shine it to upward hold the torch close to the ground ground like edthe kondiruva ennittu melotu edukka and shine it upward so that its light falls on your friend's face mugatha ingane kondu vannittu thaayenu melotu kadikkuva appo ayinte velcha mugathe kadikku mugathu veru you now have a source of light that is falling on an opaque object appo source of light und adu opaque body la nu veelunnathu opaque object if there were no trees building or any other object behind your friend would you see the shadow of your friend's head this mean this does not mean that there is no shadow adathu back il onnum illa appo shadow kaanuva ingane light adichu kenja shadow kaanuvilla അപ്പൊ അവിടെ ഷാഡോ ഇല്ല എന്നാണ് അർത്ഥം നോ ദർ ഇസ് എ ഷാഡോ ബട്ട് ഹൗ യു വി സി യു കെൻ സി ദ ഷാഡോ നാ യു ഹാവ് ടു കീപ് സംതിങ് ബിഹൈൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് എ കാർഡ് ബോർഡ് പീസ് ഓർ എ ചാർട്ട് പേപ്പർ സംതിങ് ദെൻ ഓൺലി യു കെൻ സി ദ ഷാഡോ ആഫ്റ്റർ ഓൾ ദ ലൈറ്റ് ഫ്രം ദ ടോർച്ച് ഇസ് നോട്ട് ഏബിൾ ടു പാസ് ത്രൂ ദ ത്രൂ ഹിസ് ബോഡി ടു ദ അതർ സൈഡ് നാ ആസ്ക് അനദർ ഫ്രണ്ട് ടു ഹോൾഡ് ദ കാർഡ് ബോർഡ് ഷീറ്റ് ബിഹൈൻഡ് യുവർ ഫ്രണ്ട് ഈസ് ദ ഷാഡോ നൌ സീൻ ഓൺ ദ കാർഡ് ബോർഡ് ഷീറ്റ് thus the shadow can be seen only on a screen or cardboard piece pidichappo ayinde shadow kaanan thodangi appo that means a screen is needed to form or to see a shadow shadow undu pashengil kaanengil avada screen athyavashyamana the ground walls of a room a building or other such surfaces act as a screen for the shadow you observe in everyday life <coughs> shadows give us some information about shapes of objects sometimes shadows can also mislead us about the shape of the object chala samay shadows namaku tetti therippiku namlu shadow edichu kenja namaku thonu shape namaku manasilavunnadu but chala samay mislead cheyadu adu namlu vicharikku idu inde adu kai inde kai vechittu namaku shadow edichu nokki kenjal pala designs kaana appo adu vechu namaku nokka appo adu nokkumbo ചില ഇത് കൗ ഗോട്ട് ബട്ടർഫ്ലൈ അതിനെല്ലാം ഷാഡോ ആയിട്ട് തോന്നും പക്ഷെ ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് എ ഷാഡോ ഓഫ് എ കൗ ഓർ എ ഗോട്ട് സോ ദിസ് വാസ് അബൌട്ട് ഷാഡോസ് ആ ലിറ്റിൽ മൂവ് വി ഹാവ് ടു സ്റ്റഡി അബൌട്ട് ഷാഡോ സോ ലെറ്റ് ഇസ് മൂവ് ടു ആക്ടിവിറ്റി ഫോർ ഇൻ ദിസ് പ്ലേസ് എ ചെയർ ഇൻ ദ സ്കൂൾ ഗ്രൗണ്ട് on a sunny day what do you observe from the shadow of the chair does the shadow give an accurate picture of the shadow of the chair shape of the chair yes if the chair is turned around a little how does the shape of the shadow changes yes it will not give the proper shape when you uh, when the source of light changes its direction changes its direction or when you move the uh, object it will change its shape take a thin notebook and look at its shadow 
then take a rectangular box and look at the shadow do the two shadows seem to have a similar shape it has different shape take flowers or other object of different colors and look at their shadows a red rose and a yellow rose for instance ഇങ്ങനെ വിചാരിക്കും പല കളറിൻ്റെ ഷേഡോ എടുക്കുക എങ്ങനെയാ കളറായിട്ട് കാണുന്നുണ്ടോ ഇല്ല ഓബ്ജെക്റ്റിൻ്റെ ഷേപ്പോ ഷേപ്പും ഡിഫറെൻ്റ് ആയിട്ടാണ് കാണുന്നത് ഡു ദ പക്ഷെ തിൻ തിൻ നോട്ട് ബുക്കും ഒരു റെക്റ്റാങ്കിളർ ബോക്സ് എടുത്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഷേപ്പ് ഡിഫറെൻ്റ് തന്നെയായിരിക്കും ഡു ദ ഷേഡോസ് ലുക്ക് ഡിഫറെൻ്റ് ഇൻ കളർ നോ വെൻ ദ കളേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ ഓബ്ജെക്ട്സ് ആർ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ബട്ട് ദ ഷേഡോസ് വിൽ ബി സെയിം ഇൻ കളർ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ബ്ലാക്ക് അല്ലേ ബ്ലാക്ക് ആയിട്ട് കാണുക take a long box and look at its shadow on the ground when you move the box around you may see that the size of the shadow changes when is the shadow of the box the shortest when the long side of the box is pointed towards the sun or when the short side of the is pointed towards the sun so the shadow of the box will be the shortest when the short side is pointing towards the sun it's a bright sunny day and there you see an iron rod which has been placed vertically in an open area now look at this carefully you see the shadow cast by the rod on the ground what happens after some time when the position of the sun changes and the sun now is directly above the rod gradually the shadow disappears you can see that great so let's talk about shadows in some more detail look at this tree you know this tree does not allow light rays to pass through it so it's an opaque object and this region that you see which is completely cut off from light is called the shadow right now the formation of shadows shows that light rays travel in a straight line and you know something a point source you know a source of light which is small as a point it forms a shadow that is completely devoid of light let's discuss it in some detail look at this setup there is a bulb and there is a cardboard with a small hole and there is a pencil and here you have the screen now why do you think we have a small hole see if you compare the bulb with the pencil bulb is pretty big i mean you can't call it a point source so we allow the light to pass through the hole so that it acts as a point source fine now what happens the pencil does not allow the light rays to pass through it and as a result a shadow is formed on the screen you see that this is the shadow that is the region on the screen that does not receive light and this is the region on the screen that receives light so this all this all was about shadows next week we will continue with our uh, revision we'll start revision with our first lesson so children be ready all of you have to study and we'll revise i'll put questions for you okay thank you